Hello, my name is Michael Beto Chavez, and this is my demonstration or the results for uh, my security project of uh, facial login authentication via facial rec recognition. And uh, in context, uh, I did it with two factor authentication with facial recognition, where a user enters a, a username and password, and then they take a picture. And if they uh, are recognized by the, the recognizer, then they get to the, the login screen or the, the logged in screen. So the steps I, I did for this, I'll just I'll do a brief code uh, walkthrough. Was to create a method that employs face detection and face recognition on at least two subjects, and this is the recognizer uh, that was created. So this uh, has the proper imports. It uses OpenCV and uh, OpenCV for Node.js. Um, what OpenCV is is uh, like like in the file I described earlier. It's a open source computer vision library with plenty of documentation uh, on computer vision. One of the being face recognition, face detect face detection. And uh, I said the classifier, uh, cascade classifiers are used for, um, to uh, detect particular objects in a, in a, uh, in a video stream, um, as by definition provided by OpenCV. And there's plenty of different uh, cascade classifiers for different kinds of objects, uh, eyes. In this case, I use the front face, uh, frontal face cascade classifier. Now this method here, it detects the, uh, detects the face. This is the face detection. Uh, method it detects the face within a gray image and then it, it gets the region in that picture now this gets the path of the my image database and this is my image database here uh, within this database i just use pictures of conan for testing and myself and uh, also uh, my friend thomas to help me uh, achieve this now back to the recognizer uh, after getting the path of all the of the files we would match. We would map each image uh, to uh, OpenCV for reading. Turn the image gray and then resize the image, uh, because for the recognizer to train the uh, when using a specific algorithm, all the images have to be the same size. So uh, in this case, all the target images, like here in the database, uh, includes one, one, one. Uh, so this one, this one, this one. These will be tested uh, to see uh, if the recognizer can find anyone. And uh, down here is the algorithm I chose. There's different algorithms for facial recognition, as mentioned earlier. There's eigenfaces, just different mathematical representations. Eigenfaces in here, Fisher faces, and um, the last one, local binary patterns, uh, histograms. Um, and I chose L LBPH uh, because it provided me the best results. And here I run the recognizer and uh, I output the, the results. So let me go ahead and run the recognizer. So it's currently training the images, uh, or training, rather training the, uh, the algorithm or the recognizer, and then it's gonna pull up the, the results. Uh, so here, here's the image of Conan that it found. And also uh, it provides uh, two outputs, who the, the algorithm thinks the person is, and the confidence level. The confidence level level is the distance from the ideal representation of a person. So the higher the confidence, the less confident the the computer thinks of this this is Conan. So this was Conan, eighty one. That's pretty good. Uh, Fifty two. This is me. Uh, that's that's a lot better. This is my friend Thomas. Uh, it tries to think that it's me, but it's not very confident. The confidence value is uh, uh, or the not confidence value is very high. Okay, so now that works. Uh, so this is the server. Um, and this server provides different methods for uh, um, serving web pages to the individual. And the facial recognition algorithm is also in this, uh, in part of the function check face. So uh, as shown here, uh, this is how, oh dear. This is how my pro program flows. I'll first uh, serve the initial web page. If the user sends in proper login info, it'll send the web page to cap to uh, for image capture, and then if uh, the individual is recognized, they'll be uh, given the proper final web page. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that right now. And just to just to show that this is um, actually working, let me go ahead and reload this so the site can't be reached. And let's go ahead and start the server. Magic's happening at port 8081. 
and it loaded up. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and log in. Let's do a random input just to show that this doesn't just accept any like any input. So username, password, it shows it here and it's just random. So it shouldn't be able to log in, but if I enter the correct information, I'm into the, the second phase of the login uh, process. So username, password, both shown here. Uh, and this is the, the method. So response that username equals and the response that password is beto. I, this is just hard coded in uh, just for the sake of demonstration. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and take a picture. So what happens here uh, in this is that this is the HTML file uh, upon uh, clicking the capture button, it'll cap, uh, capture the image, and it'll draw uh, an image, draw from, from the canvas of the video, it'll create an image, and then convert that image to base64 to send to the server. So here, and then this is what will be sent to the server, but it's not displayed, it's hidden. So let's go ahead and back to the web page. So here, uh, let's, so there we go, capture is done, that's not very, uh, flattering face of me, but let's go ahead and, uh, so it's important to just open your eyes and uh, look at the camera for this and let's see. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Now let's go ahead and upload it and see, uh, and as you can see on the right, this is all base 64 and the null is just the error check. And um, right now it's just trying to predict if this is me or not. So uh, the predicted individual here is me, Michael, and the confidence distance is 72. And uh, within the upload section, I created, oh yeah, and once I got the image data uh, back from the, from the client, I converted the, I, I output it for a demonstration, and then I converted it back from base64 to PNG, and then I passed the image to the, uh, the algorithm for face detection, or face recognition rather. And back to this, uh, I had a confidence value threshold. So if it was less than 90, if it was confident enough that it was me, it would finally serve me the final web page. So if I go back to here, you have logged in successfully. Thanks for stopping by. Here's my GitHub dev post LinkedIn. Um, so let's go ahead and try to do a demonstration where it does not recognize me. So let's go ahead and back to the start. Oh, I'm correct. So uh, in some instances, it doesn't work with good lighting. So let's make it darker and uh, let's go ahead and try this. So if I scroll down, this is the captured image like shown before. Now let's go ahead and upload it. This is the uh, base 64 uh, representation of the image. And let's go ahead and see uh, the output here in a minute. It takes a moment sometimes, which is unfortunate. So it, it thinks it's me, but it's not confident enough. It's not confident enough. It's not under the threshold value. Uh, therefore, it takes me back to the uh, starting page. So uh, there's my demonstration. These are the results of my project. Thanks for watching.